In the book of mysteries, the teacher and the disciple are standing in the middle of a large valley, harsh, forbidding. And the teacher begins to speak of a vision that was given to the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel was taken in a vision to a valley filled with dry bones, which by the hand of God would rise up. He's told to speak to them and they will come to life. And so he speaks and they start coming up, the bones, bones joining together, skeletons and then flesh, and it becomes a massive army. It was a prophecy of the nation of Israel that would be utterly destroyed, but one day by God's hand, he would resurrect it from the grave. Now that has never happened before, where there was a nation totally destroyed, and yet it was resurrected totally to come back into the world. The teacher begins to walk through the valley, unfolding the mystery as he goes. In the first century, the Roman armies surrounded Jerusalem, and they came in and broke the walls and set fire to the temple. The entire city was destroyed and the land of Israel was in ruins. Jerusalem was gone, Israel was gone. But the last stand of Israel took place on a desert mountain fortress called Masada. It was there that the last soldiers would meet their end. So Masada became the grave of ancient Israel. But then after 2,000 years, the nation of Israel was raised up again, as foretold by the vision. The people of Israel, the Jewish people started returning to the land. The land, the people, the cities were resurrected. The Israeli soldier was resurrected, hadn't been there for 2,000 years. And then the resurrected nation decided to return to its ancient grave, to Masada. Why? To excavate it, to dig it up. The man in charge of the excavation was one of the nation's most famous soldiers and archeologists. So Israeli soldiers were used to help excavate, dig up Masada. Now on the grave of ancient Israel's last stand, soldiers are walking again where the last Israeli soldiers died 2,000 years before. And they found a mystery that was hidden in the ruins. It was there for 2,000 years, a prophetic mystery. What was it? It was a scripture that was buried in the sand. What did it say? It was from the book of Ezekiel, the same section that contained the prophecy of the Valley of Dry Bones. Waiting for 2,000 years, it said, Thus says the Lord, Behold, O my people, I will open up your graves, and I will cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So the prophecy was hidden right there in Israel's grave, waiting for ages, waiting through the Middle Ages, through Columbus, through the Enlightenment, that for the day that it would be uncovered, the day when its words would be fulfilled and the nation resurrected from the grave. You see, God is real and His will is to restore the broken and to bring hope from hopelessness and life from death. Maybe you have a hopeless situation in your life. Maybe it's, it's just, there's just no way it can happen. It, it's been ruined, something was lost. How can it ever be again? But remember something, my friend. Remember Masada. For with God, nothing is impossible. Even restoration, even the resurrecting of a nation from a valley of dry bones. So too, he will do the impossible in your life. The Spirit of God was given to the believers on the same day that the law of God was given to Israel.